This is a short video to help you get started in graphing patterns on coordinate grids. So we're going to focus on putting the dots on the graphs today. So when we're graphing patterns, there are some key things you need to remember. So as we went over yesterday, if this is our graph, this is always our x axis, this is always our Y. Remember, we can make a big Y out of this vertical line here. This is our Y axis. This is always going to be your input. And this is always going to be your output. I'm going to go over this every day because this is really important. This point right here is 0, 0. This is your origin you need to know this point and what it's called. So when we're graphing a pattern, it will say the rule is let's say A equals 4 times B. The first thing you're going to do is make your little t-chart The B is what we're changing. The A is what we're getting. Just because they write it this way doesn't mean you switch the letters around. So I usually have kids rewrite it this way. So your input is on this side. Your output is on this side. And that way you won't get mixed up. If they do not give you coordinates to start with, your easiest ones are 0, 1, 2, 3. If it's a multiplicative pattern, your first one is always going to be 0, 0. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. So then you'll use the lines on the graph. Your first spot is going to be here in the corner. I'm just going to put these on here. I won't be able to do the 12. but. Um, you'll have graphing paper, so you'll be able to do this in your notebooks. So the first one I want to do is 0, 0. Then I go over 1, up 4. Over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4. And I put my first dot. Then I would do over 2, up 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Here's 8. I go over 2, up 8. See how these are spread out? I don't have a ruler with me, but you can see here the multiplicative patterns have these dots that are really spread out on your graph, okay? The additive ones are going to look like stair steps. They're going to be really close together. So I can tell this is a multiplicative pattern because of, one, the rule says it is, and two, I can look at the graph and see that. So when you're doing these, the first thing you need to do is make a table. If the rule says the rule is C equals 7 plus S, you're going to probably want to flip it around and do 7 plus S equals C. So you've got your S on the input and the C on the output, okay? And then you're just going to do 0, 1, 2, 3 because those are the easiest. This is an additive pattern, so I know 7 plus 0 is 7, 1 plus 7 is 8, 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 7 is 10. And a lot of kids want to say the rule is plus 1, but this isn't a rule. This is just a result of it being an additive pattern. So don't look at the um, progression downward. You don't want to ever base your rule on that. This is not a rule. This is just a result of it being an additive. So make sure you're looking what is happening to S to get C. What is happening to X to get Y? Because this side is what you're changing, and this side is what you're getting. This is your end game. So when you're graphing these, these are just some things to keep in mind to help you get through it.